Hello and welcome to the seventh video of Helm Chart series. So in today's session we will be discussing about how we can delete our Helm Chart once our work is done. So along with that what we have done till now like we have known what is Helm like it is a package manager of Kubernetes. Along with that we have seen how we can install Helm on our cluster. We have seen various commands like helm lint, helm template, helm try run. Along with that, we have seen like how we can do variableize our helm chart using values.yml file. So in today's session, we will be seeing like how we can delete our helm chart. So let's go ahead and let's start our lab. This is a node where I have where, where I am using Minikube where I am running the single node cluster Minikube. So what are the prerequisites if you want to know how to install these all things please do watch my previous video so that you will have an idea and basic understanding like how to install Helm chart. Okay, so this all the setting I have already done here. So this is my node setup. So let's go ahead and let's create our helm chart like how to create we have to type simple command hello once we will do it is getting created let's list it okay let's see what is the structure of our hello world helm chart so okay so this is our hello world helm chart which is containing the important files like chart.yml which is having configuration and the version of our helm file and the description this is the templates file which is containing our deployment.yml which is containing our service.yml we can go ahead and make, make the changes and we can deploy in a single command like in Kubernetes, we have, we have to write deployment.yml file, we have to write service.yml file, we have to execute deployment.yml file, we have to execute service.yml file. Okay. And but in this Helm chart, in a single command, we can deploy both at, at a time, right? Both not multiple things at a time. So here we can see we have values.yml file. So using this, we can variableize all the things which is present here. If you do watch my previous video so that you will have an idea how can you variableize all the things so that you can pass directly values from this values.yml files okay so once this is done once our helm chart is done what is the second the second thing which we are going to do we are going to install our helm charts let's type the command helm helm install my release along with that you have to provide the name of your helm chart that is hello world just hit enter so you can see the status of your my release is your helm chart is deployed now the revision is one if you want to know more about this how you will list the helm chart the number of helm chart and how you want to check the number of revision helm list hyphen a so it will show you like how many time you have reran this release the helm chart this is the name of your release of the helm chart and this is the status of that okay so let's see along with that what are the things kubernetes has created kubectl get all okay so this is the name of the deployment which we have got this is the name of a service which is running for our uh, this node along with that you can see our this is our replica set so let's see kubectl get service first okay so this is our service which is get which has been created due to the ran of the helm chart release due to the installation let's see our deployment So you can see our deployment is there one is up and one is running okay this is our container is up and running here along with that let's see the replica count so 
so desire is one current is one okay so once this is done let's see so now our task is how can we delete our helm chart right so this is the name of the release we have create installed using the helm chart okay so let's go ahead and let's delete this how to delete helm that is a very simple command just you have to type helm delete along with the release name you have to type so once i gave the release name it will uninstall now let's go ahead as you can see release my release has been uninstalled here so now you can go ahead and let's let's check all the services let's start from service now the by default service for the kubernetes with clustered ip type is running okay i we don't see our this clustered ip now along with that we have our uh, deployment right let's check for our deployments no deployments in the default namespace correct so we have by default uh, we have created in the uh, default namespace right so now let's go ahead and let's check the replica count all things will be destroyed with a single command here okay okay so like this and once you will in the last you will check helm list hyphen a there is nothing there is nothing right so like the same way you can delete okay in the last that is a simple basic folder type you can just go ahead and like delete like this so like this way you can go ahead and delete your helm chart so if you want to know more and explore more about the helm chart please watch out my the same series you will get a great idea in this field and if you if you want to support me please subscribe my channel along with that if you are getting any difficulties and you are facing any doubt please comment beside my video so that i will be able to help you okay thanks for watching let's see you in the next video